Okay, guys, Paul Twins Epic Adventures. Today we're going to be putting a solar panel on the Land Cruiser. This is the panel, 120 watt from Sun Yi. Um, and I'm going to mount him up there on the roof rack. I'll um, run you through how we go. Right, eh? First job is to fit a Anderson plug. So we just put, change this, have a look. This one is positive. I like to use flood solder when I do these. We do hold this like this. Just fill up the the Anderson pl uh, the Anderson plug clip. Solder. Same deal, clamp it, flood it, push it on. It's going to be a lot easier on table, but this is better for you guys to see what I'm doing. Insert it, take the heat away, let it cool. Shouldn't take too long, it's pretty quick. I was like to heat shrink them. Makes it a bit better, looks, looks a lot nicer. And then you can also tell which one's positive and negative on a panel like this, it doesn't say any other way. It's professional, put this one there. Something like that. <clears throat> Beautiful. Now we're putting these on. So this is going to go on here. Positive. Positive. Click, two clicks, and then you're on. Click, click. And that is now has power. Ready to roll. When I put it on the reef, we'll, um, we'll zippy tie all this up nice and make a Make a nice loom. For now, that's the panel ready to go. It's 
my solar panel is going to come down to here. I've got a Red Arc uh, DC DC 1225D with solar input. Um, I've also got a Nansen plug point there as well for an extra solar panel for a foldable or blanket or whatever we've got. Um, but I'm going to permanently mount this and connect this up permanently under it so I can still, if I need to, add to that panel using that Nansen plug. So here we go, a bit of that. So we're going to start by taking off this panel. It's just got these scrivets. Right, now we need to get to the yellow wire, which is here. The yellow wire goes to solar. So now I've just got to run, run some cables around for the solar input. So cable are running, running this channel here, so I'll be holding there. the windscreen piece that comes off. And you can tuck your cable behind behind the windscreen clips. Run it down. And we don't see any of the cables. Guys, sorry the camera went flat. So now it comes out of here, comes around up through the grill there, around here, down inside that channel. Runs up, up between the bonnet latch and the back of the bonnet. It'll run up through the windscreen cover here. I'll show you once I put that cover back on. That all tucks in there like that. And inside the inside the windscreen piece, there's a, bracket, a hole in the middle of it, which will thread it through. This bit, RTV sealant, peel this up, fold him over. RTV sealant's on here, and RTV sealant on this. This is the other spot where it's 60. Position the cable over it. Just want to squeeze him down. Try and knock it in like you were if you were going to actually get it to stay there. Now it's cloth tape. 
cloth tape can stick to paint and um, peel it off without damaging paint. It's sticking on there like that. You use this to hold this down until the until it seals. Devil, you mount that there like that. Stick that there like that, and then we'll be able to plug our solar panel in. Cool, I'll okay, get some screws. This is how, this is how my solar is going to look when I just next episode I'll make up some brackets. So, and some plug comes down, goes under the window trim once the glue dries will peel them off. The masking tape off, comes down between the windscreen so you don't see it. Down here, under this, this trim, this trim here, comes under, down through there, down and connects up to my BCDC1225D. And the solar input, you can see now it's getting some solar. Try and get some light on so you can see it. Should be able to see the lights there on solar and charge. That'll keep us charged while we're over in Tasmania. Um, we had a bit of trouble with the car sitting for two or three days um, and the fridge running down when we're in the, up in Cape York and uh, Cooktown. It was getting a little bit too hot. So um, yeah, hopefully that'll help us with all that and we'll be able to continue our travels. Uh, as always guys, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, hit that bell. Uh, that's important too and then you'll be able to keep up to date with my new videos um, no worries see you out there guys bye